friends, I'm Lulu, and welcome to Judson Sunday Arts, where kids of all ages can make art that matters. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and it, for those of you joining us who are blind or low vision, I am a white 34-year-old woman with short, buzz-cut, dark blonde hair. I'm wearing a black scoop neck tank top, and there's a big bookcase behind me with books and other things on it, and art on the walls. It's still Asian and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, and today's Mother's Day too! Happy days to all of you! Today we're using symbolism in drawings or paintings to celebrate supportive women in our lives. You will need something to draw or paint on, and something to draw or paint with. If you make your drawings by hand or digitally, that's your choice. If you tuned into Andy's lesson on May 9th, you'll remember a lesson celebrating unconditional love that talked about the story of the prodigal son and Mother's Day. We're going to continue our celebration of Asian art by learning a little about symbolism in ancient Chinese paintings. Let's start with a short film called Traveling Through Brush and Ink, directed by An Lin Chao. An Lin Chao is originally from Taiwan and lives in London. She explains, Traveling Through Brush and Ink is a stop-motion animation of a little modern man traveling through four significant ancient Chinese paintings, transforming himself into animals and plants, and becomes part of the nature. Each painting represents four important stages of landscape art in Chinese history. Based on the original paintings, we built the sets and animated the little character inside, all frame by frame. The paintings that are highlighted are Emperor Meng Huang's Journey to Xu, Travelers Among Mountains and Streams, Ancient Temple in a Mountain Pass, and Autumn Colors on the Tiao and Hua Mountains.
how at the end, we get to see the process that the artists went through to make the movie. They created sculptures and cutouts and shot it frame by frame. What did you notice? I'm not an expert on ancient Chinese art, but I do know that symbolism is a part of every painting. Symbolism means using symbols to share a hidden meaning. There were mountains in all of the paintings featured in Chow's film. Mountains symbolize many things, like sacred powers, long life, spiritual renewal, and refuge. But there are many other symbols we can find in traditional Chinese art. For example, a crane could be a symbol of peace, jade could be a symbol of protection, and oranges could be a symbol of happiness. Colors can mean different things too. Red or orange means happiness and celebration. White can mean purity, but also death and mourning. Yellow and gold could represent heaven and the emperor. Gray and black symbolize death and misfortune, while green symbolizes harmony. What do different colors and objects symbolize for you? That's right, it's art making time. Today, we're going to use our own symbols to celebrate a supportive woman in our lives with a drawing or painting. Start by choosing a woman to celebrate. Whether or not you have a relationship with the person that gave birth to you, I know that there's a woman in your life who has given you unconditional love and support. Maybe that is your mom, or maybe that's an aunt, grandmother, godmother, teacher, or a really good friend. Decide who you want to celebrate. Then, think about the things your subject likes and special things you've done together. What objects or colors symbolize the love, support, and fun you've had together? Include all of them in your drawing or painting. You can share it with your subject, or if she's no longer with us, share it with someone you love to honor her memory. You could spend five minutes or a whole week making your art with symbolism to celebrate a supportive woman in your life. If you love what you made, send it to me so I can feature it on another edition of Judson Sunday Arts. Be safe, wear your masks, happy art making, happy Mother's Day, and happy Asian and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, friends. See ya.